In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Loki wrist strap sleep monitor. What it tracks specifically is motion, your heart rate, and most importantly, your blood oxygen saturation level. You might be wondering, what is, what is all this information? Well, what is the uh, blood oxygen saturation level? Well, for me to talk about the importance about your blood oxygen saturation level as you sleep, I need to talk to you about sleep apnea and what it is. Now, sleep apnea in basic terms is a condition where you stop breathing as when you're, when you're actually asleep. So per hour, how many times do you stop breathing? Um, are you gasping for air? Are you uh, feeling tired in the morning? Does your partner tell that you snore a lot as you sleep? Those could be all symptoms of sleep apnea. Now there's different levels of severity of sleep apnea. If you stop breathing a lot per hour, let's say like more than 10 times per hour, you might be diagnosed with a more severe type of sleep apnea. Now this device comes in handy because it, A, if you already are diagnosed with sleep apnea, it helps you track your CPAP therapy. Um, basically CPAP therapy is something that you put on your face, it's a, it's, a, it's a machine that blows constant air through your airway and it kind of allows your throat to stay open all throughout this uh, night's sleep and allows you to actually breathe uh, more, no more normally. Um, so this device actually um, is actually very helpful for me personally because I'm able to see my CPAP therapy, is it working, is it not? So this is actually very handy. And for people who don't have sleep apnea, this might be handy in maybe getting a sense. Now I don't think this device will actually medically shouldn't medically diagnose you. You should go, if you feel you have symptoms of sleep apnea, you know, definitely go see a professional, uh, go see a doctor and, and get a sleep test. And that way, with all the, the detailed reports, you can actually diagnose sleep apnea. But at least this would give you some symptoms or at least help you detect if your blood oxygen saturation falls below a certain percent. Uh, maybe there, there is some, some warning, some, some sign of that there is sleep apnea. I've tested it on many different people, such as myself, I'm diagnosed with sleep apnea. I noticed that when I'm not using my CPAP therapy, um, basically the machine that blows constant air into my airway, um, I noticed that there are six, some, some significant dips in my blood oxygen saturation, whereas I've tested this on a healthy person and it shows that they're completely healthy, as in there's, no, there's barely any drop in their blood oxygen saturation. So this is actually very accurate and very cool. In terms of the heart rate monitoring, I actually tried it with a, different, a lot of different devices and I compared them and I was able to get the same readings on this device as well. Now this is the wrist strap version. There's actually a, a ring version. It really depends on your on what you prefer. Depending on your situation, you might actually prefer the wrist strap. I find both very comfortable. Uh, this one is actually very comfortable because all the weight distribution is spread out. When it's on your finger, it's actually very, very light. This part is very light and this doesn't feel, it's actually very light and the rubber is very comfortable. So I basically barely notice it. I don't notice it at all when I'm falling asleep. Uh, it's actually very comfortable and a lot more comfortable than a, than a smartwatch because this this thing here, this base where the battery is, uh, is very light. In terms of the hardware and the, and the fit, uh, this actually is able to accommodate all types of finger, uh, different finger sizes. So if you're a small person, you have a petite uh, finger size, it totally, it will fit you because what it has is actually a very expandable rubber, as you can see here. So it accommodates the largest finger size to the smallest finger size, which is also very nice because this, this product is very accessible to everybody. Turning this on and actually starting your sleep tracking is super simple. All you gotta do is put it on your wrist and then put it on your finger and it, any finger will do, just whatever is most comfortable for you. I personally put it on my pinky finger and you just turn it on and you go to sleep and that's it. You're, you're, track, you're tracking your sleep um, all throughout the night. The nice thing about this is that it has a dedicated battery for sleep tracking only. A lot of fitness trackers and smartwatches don't do uh, um, sleep tracking very well. For example, I had the uh, Garmin Vivo Smart 4, which had this feature called Pulse Ox, and that too also detected your blood oxygen saturation. By the way, that thing is also called SpO2. Um, it's a long word, but they're interchangeable terms. So Pulse Ox, SpO2, blood oxygen saturation, um, it detected it, but it only detected four hours, and that isn't very helpful. Um, I like to be able to see the entire night's sleep and compare it to my uh, CPAP machines data and see like if there's any 
uh, differences or anything like that. So this it's nice to have everything synchronized. One feature I really like about the software, um, so obviously syncing is very simple. Just turn on your Bluetooth, open the, download the app called ViHealth, and then uh, just turn on your device, open the app, and it just automatically syncs. You don't even have to connect to Bluetooth. It just knows the, it just knows the device. So it syncs in a matter of seconds. You'll have all your detailed reports. It has a historical. It actually backs up all your information. You can go into the details. You can see your motion data. You can see the time you've slept. You can see your average SpO2. All that information is there, which is very handy. You can actually zoom in and see more details, which is also a very nice, handy feature because a lot of uh, sleep tracker apps, their interface is very simple. All you do is see a graph, but you can't zoom in. You can't see information. You can't see what particular minute at second when you had a significant drop in your blood oxygen saturation reading. So I really like how there's a lot of uh, detailed information in the app and it's also just very simple to use. Also with the app, you can go get real-time information. So if you go to the second tab, you can see your current heart rate and your current SpO2. So now that we talked about sleep apnea, we can talk about one of the most important features this device offers. The, the feature is basically what happens is if your blood oxygen saturation level fall, falls below a, a certain percent, it can actually wake you up. It can give you a little nudge, a, a very gentle vibrate nudge, haptic feedback, which all of this can be configured in the settings. So you can basically go to the settings and you can set the threshold, let's say below 95%, um, give me a gentle nudge. You can also change the haptic feedback, uh, the intensity of how strong the, vi the, the, vibrate, the vibration is. So it's very configurable. And this feature is really important because one of the key things about sleep apnea is when you sleep on your back, you're more likely to have apnea and basically stop breathing. By sleeping on your back, you might have a poor position with your pillow. Um, your throat muscles might be relaxed because um, this happens to a lot of people who've maybe been drinking a lot of alcohol, who are overweight, or people who have a, like a larger, a larger throat or have bigger tonsils. By sleeping on your back and having your throat muscles kind of be more relaxed, you're, you're more likely to have um, issues sleeping because of uh, your airway being blocked. And that's why we have CPAP therapy. But another another alternative solution that's less invasive than C CPAP therapy is to sleep on your side. So in fact, some doctors prescribe patients who have low to moderate sleep apnea, a special type of jacket with balls that actually, when they fall asleep, it kind of reminds them to fall on the, to sleep on their side. Well, this device can actually nudge you to sleep on your side. So let's say during your sleep, you stop breathing for whatever reason. Uh, this device detects that your blood oxygen saturation has gone down a bit it'll gently nudge you to sleep on your side. You feel that haptic cue and that tells you to sleep on your side and therefore you can breathe more easily and you can have a better better night's sleep. Another really cool thing about the software is that you can actually share or export your results and you can annotate your uh, reports. So basically if you have a bad night, you can write a note and then you can actually look back at your historical logs and see that, oh, I dropped a lot in my blood oxygen saturation and here's a note, here's the reason why, maybe I was drinking that night. So this is actually very helpful in kind of looking back at your records and historically monitoring how you how well you've been receiving your CPAP therapy or how well you're actually just sleeping in general. So overall, I'm very impressed with this device. It's very comfortable, it's very easy to use, and I also find that it's very accurate. Uh, for people who don't have sleep apnea, I do think it's actually a very cool device because you're able to get very detailed insight into your sleep. And for people who have sleep apnea and want to continue improving their condition, I do recommend having this device because it's very complementary to your CPAP therapy and that you can monitor how well your CPAP therapy is actually working and then you can make micro adjustments to your prescription. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this sleep monitor, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find and buy it. That's it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. One last thing before you leave, make sure to check out the other review where I review the Loki Ring sleep monitor. I just want to give a big thanks to Loki for letting me use this device to test and review. As a disclaimer, I was not paid to make this video. And since this is not a sponsored video, all my opinions are my own.